A live look now out over Vancouver, where we currently stand at about 47 degrees. The wet weather are likely going to be taking us well into the afternoon hours as the winds currently out of the east southeast at about 10 miles per hour. But those breezy conditions, they will start to taper back as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon and evening. But the wet weather in no short supply here across the metro area. Those yellows and oranges, a good indication of some heavier downpours, a nice drink of water for us here across the Pacific Northwest. All thanks to this lazy low pressure system pushing those rain showers from the south to the north as the snow falls above about 3,500 feet. That's going to be an additional snow accumulation for those skiers and snowboarders alike as the National Weather Service keeps those winter weather advisories in effect for parts of the foothills, the peaks themselves, where we could potentially see an additional 3 to 11 inches of snowfall at least through 5 o'clock this evening. And it will be gusty out that direction for those skiers and snowboarders with gusts nearing about 35 miles per hour on the eastern slopes. That's where winter storm warnings are in effect. We could see an additional 5 to 10 inches and difficult travel likely going to remain over the Cascades at least for the next 24 hours. Closer to home though, the Portland metro area seeing those breezy conditions this afternoon. They do start to taper back as we move through the overnight hours and that will eventually take us into the middle of the work week where warmer and drier skies are on the horizon. But the culprit for the wet weather today, this massive low pressure system that continues to push flooding rains into Northern California. It's great for us, not so great for them. Too much of a good thing has quickly turned sour as it continues to dip its way further to the south, leaving behind this cool pool of air over the western half of the country. That's why our temperatures will still remain well below average for the next several days. The only warmer day is going to be tomorrow for us. So here it is all timed out with our future cast. The wet weather continues for your evening commute tonight. If you're traveling over the coast range, you might run into a snow flurry or two, but no major travel impacts out that direction as we slowly dry things out through the overnight hours tonight. For tomorrow, as you head off to work and school, you might run into just a light raindrop or two. I think this particular model is a little bit more on the aggressive side because by the afternoon, drier skies, sunny conditions once again return as our daytime high temperatures get back up into the 50s, if not even closer to 60 degrees for some of us. The clouds march their way back on shore for us on Thursday as temperatures start to take another little bit of a dip. So the roller coaster ride continues for us as additional rain accumulation nears just at about a quarter of an inch for the I-5 corridor, more than a half inch possible for some of our coastal communities. A lot of outdoor activities though happening as the spring season gets underway the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. That's where we're going to see the return of the wet weather and cooler than normal temperatures. The good news is, is once those flowers start to bloom, the colder conditions kind of prolong as long as we have the winds cooperate as the cherry blossom forecast for tomorrow puts us back up into the mid 50s and not expected to see the rainfall. But we've seen some incredible shots of those cherry blossoms along the waterfront here in the Portland metro area. If you happen to have any spring photos or videos you'd like to share, scan that QR code on your screen right now and we'll continue the conversation right here on coin six. Now our forecast at high today 50 degrees. It will be windy out there with gusts nearing about 25 miles per hour. And for tonight, we slowly start to dry things out as we fall back into the upper 30s and the winds tapering back out the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Seven day forecast, the pick of the week. That's Wednesday. We approach 60 degrees. I've had to take a degree or two off of that just because I think that cloud coverage in the morning will slow that warming trend as the clouds find their way back into the I-5 corridor for the start of the day on Thursday and our temperatures taking a tumble back to the upper 40s on Sunday. That's no April Fool's Day mm. joke. And uh, that's a, a cool trend for us because we should be in the upper 50s this time of year, but it's good to see the return of the rain. We need it. I had to break out my winter puffy coat again. <laughs> yeah. The temperatures went back down. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>